and another technology available to to do the purification of the biogas through the biomethane is the pressure swing adsorption and it is a, a method that uses the adsorption of the contaminants at the surface of a, a, a physical material so depending on the the type of the molecular sieve or depending on the the, the object that we have we use different kinds of material to remove the, the contaminants. The PSA is very, very used in air separation units when we need to remove the CO2 from, from, from air and when we need to remove the heavy hydrocarbons from air in order to separate the nitrogen, the, the oxygen and the, and the argon. But there are another kind of adsorption process that is the TSA and the TSA instead of using pressure to do the regeneration of the, the molecules, the molecular sieve, we use temperature and in some cases we use temperature and the pressurization to do the, the regeneration. So the, the principle here is based on the different attraction of the adsorbent to the, uh, the gas material. So the methane will pass through the, the, the bed and the, the CO2 will be captured by the activated carbon, zeolitic uh, or carbon molecular sieve. And we, as we are talking about a process, the, it is a batch process because we have a, a time, a, a predetermined or a calculated time that you can send the, the contaminated gas with the CO2 through the bed. And time to time, you need to switch the gas to another vessel because if you don't do that, your vessel will be saturated and it will not more uh, it will not remove CO2 anymore and because of that most often we have many vessels in, in parallel to while one is in operation the other is in a regeneration step that can be the pressurization equalization or pressurization and because of that usually the PSA technology is uh, more expensive than the other technology. Of course, that in the end is all a matter of the uh, technical, uh, uh, technical and economical evaluation, but uh, you already know that usually it's more expensive. And the advantage of having the PSA is that it is a proven technology for sure. So there are places that works uh, with PSA for many, many years without any issue. You don't have any kind of solvent uh, that are needed to, to, to handle. You don't have, need to have pretreatment to, to solvent, for instance, for water. You don't need to spend money with organic solvents, and that's an advantage. And as we are talking about pressure swing and desorption, we don't need any kind uh, of uh, source of heating to, to remove the impurities from the adsorbent. And in the, other, in the other hand, we must remove the HOS before sending the the gas to the PSA because the, the HOS is, uh, is, is not, uh, the adsorbent is not supposed to remove the HOS and it can kill your, your, your molecular sieve or your adsorbent. And uh, as we work with the depressurization, uh, we, we eventually will have a waste gas. And to improve the recovery of the methane in this process, we also need to have a, a boosting system or a compressor to, to send the, the, the waste gas to the inlet of the, the process in order that we can improve the, 
the capacity of the PSA. So that can increase the power requirements of your plant because of that.